Hey guys, here we have a 1942 Ford Snowgo. It was converted to all-wheel drive by Marvin Harrington. The the truck sits on a, a Ford one half ton chassis and it, it drives by a Chevy 350, which was at some point put in. But back here we have a U21 International Harvester Red Diamond engine that runs the the blower and all that stuff. However, it's seized. So we have a lot of work to do on that. We put some diesel down the, down the cylinders. Hopefully we can break that up at some point. Uh, however, even if we do get that fixed, we still have to do the entire hydraulic system. As you can see, the hydraulic lines are all rotted and it's just leaking everywhere. So we have to fix that before we can't even get the thing running. Uh, the, the interior is in really great shape. There was really no rust at all. However, as you can see, we had to take out the seat. The headliner, there's some wiring that's falling apart, but that's not gonna be too tough to fix. But other than that, it's, it's in really great shape. The, when we were moving it into the shop, the, the brake lines popped, so. Today we're gonna to fix that. We're gonna put some new brake lines on the back. Uh, we're gonna bleed the bleed the brakes, and then and then run it a little bit. the The 350 uh, it works just fine. However, it does need a little bit of tuning. So we do have a lot of work to do. So let's get started. So we have a a new uh, hose here. We're gonna just replace this old one with it. Uh, and then we have a T connector here somewhere that's going to go on that side of it. So, Oh, wrong. One. So the cool thing about this truck is it's not even jacked up and we're just sit sitting underneath of it. There's a lot of room to work on this thing under here.
all the brake lines changed out. It ended up being a little bit more uh, complicated than I had originally thought. Uh, not that, you know, changing your brake lines are complicated, but we did more than I was hoping to do today. Uh, originally, the front flex hoses, they seemed okay, but as you can see, uh, they're completely collapsed. Um, we tried bleeding the, the back brake lines after I changed that one. That one went fine, but then these ones, they weren't bleeding, so we ended up changing all those as well. And come to find out, they weren't good. Um, and the funny thing is, uh, working on the front brakes, you know, I, I can fit in here pretty well, and I can see that brake line on the driver's side, anyhow. But on the passenger side, I cannot fit in there. And at first, I thought maybe the suspension sagging a little bit, but that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me because it's. Everything seems to be in relatively good shape. So we pop the, the wheel off, and come to find out, it's completely different. First of all, it's way bigger, as you can see. And the rim, somebody fabricated this to fit the truck. So somebody took a plasma cutter in here and made their own holes for the lug nuts. And I believe this might actually be a Widowmaker. You can see the ring and it comes together right there. Um, these are pretty dangerous. I'm not comfortable with working around them. I have no idea how to do that. So I'm not going to mess around with that. We're just going to toss that somewhere. And uh, get a whole new set for the truck. Uh, these, I don't think these are Widowmakers on the original wheels. Uh, I mean, they look a little similar with the ring and stuff. You can see the way they come together right there, but these are, I, I was trying to look, but they look like they're bolted in. I could be wrong, but that's just kind of what my first impression uh, kind of makes me believe. So, but anyhow, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter because those are going to go away. Um, but today was a pretty productive day overall. We got all the brake lines changed out, got good brakes. So, that's good. Um, so, all that's left today is just we're gonna show you guys the truck, the truck starts and runs, how it sounds, and then, all right, so we're gonna start this up for you guys real quick, but I wanna show you guys how much snow we have. I can't even get this out of the garage right now. So, this, this thing's not moving snow this year, unfortunately, at least this winter. Uh, so yeah, next season, hopefully everything will be worked out to the point where we can move this and move snow. So let's get this thing started real quick. It's kind of loud, the, as you can see the mufflers come out right there, so. All right. Lights work. And it does have a key, but it is a push start. As you guys can see, the engine runs. It drives too, and we got brakes now. So it's a functional vehicle as far as driving. But uh, if you guys like this video, uh, tune in next time, and you'll be able to see us get the at least working on the red diamond engine. And uh, hopefully, at some point, you guys will see us moving snow with this thing. So, so thanks.